if you think with the number of data scientists that we have, um, uh, we have an internal open source community, if you think of it that way, as in we have a, a huge number of contributors to a yep. series of mathematical and computational models that are then shared, improved on, stretched, uh, and used. So you could say that we have the world's largest open source community for retail analytic modeling. Um, and it's not if you accept that as a premise, then it's not accidental some of the tooling that we use internally in order to, to facilitate that. You know, all of our data scientists use internal version of GitHub, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there is a little bit of a, um, a kind of exciting prospect there as well, which is at some point, how much do we open up our platforms to third parties to participate in that open source community? Obviously not exposing everything we do, um, but helping to move forward to a greater good some of that, that, that piece. And we're already beginning it with um, some of our clients where our analytics, we're, our analytics platform, we're an enabling some of our clients to also participate in and contribute. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we use open source. A lot of uh, science models use open source, um, and we use that. And in some of our cloud fabric, um, we would use a completely expected set of open source components there as well. So it is something we're committed to. Um, it's something that obviously we have to have significant control over, not just from a, uh, a licensing perspective, but also security vulnerabilities, et cetera, et cetera. And also mm -hmm. a behavioral one, which is it, going back to that point of it, creating a culture of sharing an idea and sharing a model, and at the same time understanding that that cannot be shared between clients is a fine line. Um, and as long as you make a distinction between here is a model, of course, that we own, and here is a model with a client's data, which is definitely not something we own, then that's, that's, that's where so much of our complexity sits. Uh, so going forward, I expect us to continue with that open source use. And as I've said just now, the we have a strong ins instinct that broadening that community, especially if you can imagine retailers, especially these sub-scale retailers, combining together to create volume to compete with the, mm -hmm. with the big guys, um, then it, employing their teams with ours and mixing it together in some way creates a very interesting proposition.